Hey everyone, this is Paolo from DMB Academy and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to make basses like the ones in the track If I Could by Hieroglyphics. So this is the original track and this is my recreation. But before we get started with the video, make sure you get subscribed to the channel and hit the notification bell to not miss any of our future videos. And if you want to support the channel, consider grabbing one of our products at dmbacademy.com. We have crazy preset packs. We have producer bundles made by pro artists like Icicle, Current Value, Avis, Mastic, and many more, showing you how to make tracks from start to finish with all project files, presets, samples, etc. included. And speaking about samples and presets, if you want the ones from this video, consider joining Preset Pass. The link is also in the description. So, with all that being said, let's get into the video. Okay, so here are the notes that we're going to be playing. You can copy them if you want to follow along with the video. So now let's get into Serum. And so here in Serum, we're going to follow a workflow that is very, very cool. Um, usually, how you would approach this type of sounds is people just use saw waves which is perfectly valid, but it makes your sub have a lot of stereo issues. So how we're going to do this is we're going to use a sine wave as the sub that is going to be completely clean. And then we're going to be using uh, a separate oscillator to have uh, this harmonics, like a sub wave, like this harmonics, but we're going to take the sub out of it. So let's just do a shape like this. Let's go down exponentially, then let's go up like the resonance of the filter and then let's go down. Like we filter this, send this here. We now have that super cool deep tone. But now we can make this very stereo and keep a mono sub. Let's just add some attack and some release for the clicks. And now we can just play with that filter, add some uh, hyper, very slight, some distortion, compression. Now keep in mind that the multiband is going to bring a lot of weird artifacts. Let's bring the distortion drive a little bit lower and boost the gain here. And now we can just play with the different LFOs and maybe even add uh, an EQ here. Bam, that's it. That's how you make basses like the ones in the track, If I Could by Hieroglyphics. Very, very simple sound, but it's very cool to see this kind of workflow being applied because not a lot of people, uh, when they're approaching low resist, uh, care about what the sub is uh, doing. And they would usually just do something like, I don't know, making the res um, in Serum like this, and then just high passing that and putting a sine wave below, but really you are not 100% clean. like. Even if you just high pass, there's there's a 24 decibel per octave gain reduction. So you don't have a 0% sub. You have a minus 24 decibel sub, you know, that is stereo still. So yeah, um, I think this is the cleanest possible setup that you can use to create a sounds like this. And then it's all about the filtering. And yeah, that's how you make basses like the ones in the track, if I could. So if you like this video, make sure you get subscribed to the channel and hit the notification bell to not miss any future videos. And if you want to support the channel, consider grabbing one of our products at dmbacademy.com. We have crazy preset packs. We have producer bundles made by pro artists like Icicle, Current Value, Avis, Mastic, and many more, showing you how to make tracks from start to finish with all project files, presets, samples, etc. included. And speaking about samples and presets, if you want the ones from this video, consider joining Preset Pass. The link is also in the description. So thank you so much for watching. Hope you have a nice day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.